everybody, this is Elissa from Mink Earth and Crafts. Today, I have another small shop haul for you. And as you can see, this is actually a pretty good size one. I've got five different packages here for you. We're gonna do this one last because it's the biggest. Um, we're gonna look at a package from Shimmering Canvases, DP with Sparklers, uh, Stacy Travis from Lady Lath. Let me make sure I say her shop right. Lady Lath Customs by Design. Uh, I had to write it down because it's a mouthful for me to say. And Painting with Pity, so Breeze Shop over there. And then this one is from, as we flip it over, Les, Les Creations de Clo. Totally a French name. Uh, I cannot pronounce uh, Fran French. I'm good with Spanish, I'm good with German, and I'm good with, uh, for the most part, some Japanese I can pronounce properly, but definitely not French. That's like not in my wheelhouse. Um, so that will be the last one that I unbox. So we will get started. I'm going to set this one to the side because I'm going to open that one last because I've been waiting. I can't even remember what I ordered from them because I ordered it. Uh, it's been probably about, oh goodness, five, six weeks since I ordered this one, somewhere around in there. Maybe it's only been four weeks. I don't remember. Uh, if my packing slip is in here, I will see what day I ordered and that will give me a timeline of how long it's been. But I'm going to set this one to the side so that way Ah, my desk is getting cluttered, but I'm going to set that one to the side and then we'll get started with these four here. So I went ahead. I have not opened any of these to look at what's in here for contents wise, but I did go ahead and cut open everything uh, just so that way it wouldn't take quite so much time as you see me struggle with opening um, because that is something that I struggle with anyways. Uh, I didn't even order them in any specific order. I just kind of like laid them out. Um, <clears throat> these two are going to be, uh, special drills. I have a couple canvases that I want to bling up. So I ordered some special drills and that's what we're going to have in here. And then, uh, some pens and putty. Cause of course you can't have a small shop haul without pens and putty. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to go ahead and start with the drills. Cause that's going to be fun. Uh, I'm going to slide these ones forward to have a little bit more room to work with as I have some clutter on my desk. So we're gonna start with shimmering canvases and uh, I'm going to peek to make sure there is nothing in here. Good. All right. Ooh, I have no idea what, this will be my first time ordering from them. Uh, I was going through and looking at their stuff. I think there's a couple uh, sometimes I order and I'm like, ooh, that looks fun, that looks fun. So I did order a couple pens from them. That's right, I did order a couple pens. I'm gonna apologize, try not to crinkle too much. So, oh, it's a box. So of course you have the visitor who recognizes that this is a box. So you have Mochi investigating. This is my Mochi. So she's gonna sit here. Mochi, you can get out of the way? She's like, no. I want to watch. So this is my mochi cat. She's my baby. So she's going to sit here and be all right. So um, usually when I go to open things, I find that there's an easy way and then I typically do things the hard way. Exactly. See, I would have been like, I can't open this. Let me cut the top off. And like I said, there's an easy way. And then I, after I cut the top off, I would have realized that I can open it like that. Like I said, easy way and hard way. So, ah, boom. So here is the first pen. I love greens. And this was a green with the white. And look how beautiful and sparkly it is. I'm gonna have to do another order of everlasting tips for these new pens. Oh, and look at the gold. I have a, another pen from Peachy Keen Pens that has the regular diamonds, or like, well, the white sparkly diamonds right here. Um, so this one has goldy, they're like not as straight gold, they're like a yellow gold, brassy gold. But this is the first pen. And then I got another pen, kind of like, I have to say this is very well um, packaged, even though it's this nice little box. Ooh, look at those colors. There. 
And then of course the tips are right in there, but I don't really use the plastic tips. I'm... See the struggle. There. I don't use the plastic tips. I use the, I re... oh, see? Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at those greens and blues and purples. Ooh, it's like color changingly gorgeous. Oh, I love that. It's beautiful. I don't know if the purple tones come through very well with my light, but, and look at how vibrant and shiny that is. Love it. So apparently we're gonna be serenaded with like little cat shoulders here. Um, because she's waiting for me to empty this box so she can jump in the box. So I'm going to take this stuff out of the box and set the box to the side. So if the cat wants to jump in the box, hey Moach, you can come over and sit in the box. You want the box? Go get the box. Go on. She's like, no, I'm going to sit here. Well, go on. Here, I'm going to slide you out of the way. She's like, mom, no. She's just going to sit here and observe us. She wants to go in the box she can go in the box and then I picked up some different oh now she's gonna go for the box because I moved the box so she's gonna go climb in the box so that's the crinkle that you hear is her climbing in the box yes the cat is climbing in the box because if she fits she sits which is hilarious so <laughs> okay uh yes i have got to show you guys here is my cat in a box like i told you <laughs> she was waiting for me to empty the box so she could sit in the box <laughs> typical cat all right if you wanted some humor there you had some humor um, so I got a couple different of sets. So here are the blues. As you can, I went with some mostly rounds. So these are some glittery round colors. And here are the different colors that it came in, like the C tones. I'd have to look back in, uh, see exactly which sets. So I went with the small, or like the, I think this is the large set because I have some of the smaller sets I'd have I don't remember I, oh yes I'd have to look back through yeah this is the small set because it's only four colors there I'm going to take that out so we can actually see what we got I like that it comes in this case I wasn't expecting this little case like this that's really cool so there's the pens with the tips right there um, dun -dun. here was one with more greens so you can see here the shades I think they're like um, so there are the colors that we have here 704 701 and it looks like you get a couple of like the ABs and then a couple of the um, uh, crystals. So two ABs and two crystals is what you get in this set. So there's those two and I got three of the uh, larger. So I got those two around and then I also got some squares as well. So I like these little carrying case or these little cases that they came in those are nice for uh, the storage so these ones are squares I'm going to turn them so you can see all the colors and again you've got um to obtain that so you don't see that reflection so you've got one two three four ab's and three different crystals there you go so four ab's three crystals these are squares never seen square crystals before. Um, 
And then of course, because I got those colors in the squares and I love like the blue tone. See, I struggle. The struggle is real. The struggle is real, I tell you. The struggle is real. And then I got these ones here, which are like blues and purples, which again are going to be four ABs and three crystals. And look at those beautiful light blues with some light purples. Beautiful colors there. I'm actually gonna put these ones. And then this last one. I need to make a list of like all of the special drills that I have. So I know, hey, I've got this. Look at that. Those colors there. Love these colors. And there. It's those. And then these. So those were from a Shimmering Canvases. I would look and verify that was the name, but the cat is, you know, sitting in the box and she's giving herself a bath. So I can't <laughs> look because she's leaning her shoulder against the edge of the box. All right, so that was shop number one, Shimmering Canvases. Number two, this is my DP with sparklers from Tima's shop. And I did get a haul of sparklers from her. And this is my first haul uh, from hers. Oh, that one's got my shipping label. I'll have to take that out. So let me go ahead and take my shipping label out of this one. Get my packing slip out of here. As we crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. Oh, that's because that has my loose drills. I did purchase some loose drills. So, let me take my loose drills out. And my team on extras. All right. So, I have a painting that I want to bling up with. I saw a photo of how somebody had bling, blinged up one of the paintings, but I'll go over that in a minute. Um, so, first off for team on, you get her... Look at this, some sticker foil. Thank you, her um, branded washi tape. As I make a mess of everything, you get the, the diamond, uh, sparkly diamond sticker, her business card, some sparklers. And so there's her thank yous, which I'm gonna set up here to balance it out. So these are, I'll go over these first. So I went with, I think I went with primarily rounds because I mostly have round canvases. Uh, so I went with, I'm laughing at my cat who just laid down inside her basket, inside of her box to take a nap. Because again, she is, she's a box cat. Um, she has a pet box in the dining room that lives underneath the kitchen table that she's had for probably about eight months now that she's made a nest inside of. It's just a small box that she loves and she'll just go lay in the box and take a nap. So anyways, um, I got the Skin Deep Starter Set in rounds that I got with, uh, and she has all of these on her website still. Um, so I went with the starter sets so that way I could have somewhere to go uh, and to work with. So I went with the Skin Deep Starter Set in case I wanted to bling up any like uh, skin tones. Um, and then as we come over, I've got the Plum Passion Pinks set. I got the Fit for a King Purple set. I'm not gonna break out all of these for sake of time because I've got so much in this small shop haul. The Ocean Spray Blues set, which you can see the colors of those blues. And you can hear my poor sick puppy with her cough. It's getting better, but she's still coughing. Uh, her cough, I just gave her cough medicine a little bit ago and it's cough is doing a lot better. 
petal pushers. So all of these pink sparklers. Oh, I love those ABs. Look at them. So pretty. And the grays. I have a lot of paintings with some grays and I would love to be able to bling them up with those grays. So there's those. And then I specifically got the quad border rainbow set for a very specific um, painting that I want to do. So in the inside of it, she has the go by as I make all the crinkly sounds. Um, so the go by of how to for the pattern for the quad cubes, because this comes with the rainbow colors of quad cubes and then a couple packs of the 5200 ABs. Um, and then you have your directions of how to bling it up, uh, which I was, I love her packaging with these sparkly packages there. That's just fantastic. Um, I can get this back in, but I got this set here specifically for anyone that doesn't like crinkling. I apologize. I'm a crinkle master. So I got that set and then a couple extra ba bag of aquas because I'm not a big fan of like that orange color that you see in there. So I wanted to do the rainbow, um, the rainbow quad, quad cube border but I wanna have like an emphasis on like the aqua tones. So I got a couple extra baggies of the quad cubes, which I'm actually gonna stick, or the quad cubes in aqua to go heavy on the aqua with my rainbow. So I'm gonna kinda modify the pattern that's in here for my I Believe in Unicorns painting. Uh, Cause I wanna do a border around this because that's so much of this white. So I'm gonna do the quad border rainbow set um, with heavy on the aqua um, quad cubes. So not just a straight rainbow, it's gonna be an aqua rainbow heavy one uh, around my I Believe in Unicorns uh, Diamond Art Club painting. So that's why I got this one for this painting. So that, that was there. And then these, so I got the 3865, 3811, 807, 722, 743, and 351. These to bling up this little painting right here, Ember the Sky Dragon. Uh, so I wanted to bling up this little painting here. Uh, I do want to find, because he had a couple ABs in him, but this cute little uh, Pixie Six one. I want to play around with this one. I do want to find the, um, she didn't have the red for the actual red of the body of the dragon, but uh, these ones are all gonna be the background to bling up the sky in the background, which I think will be really good to kind of swap out and do some bling for some of the clouds. That's what these three will do. We'll be blinging up this clouds. As you can see, this works for the white, the light blue, and that darker blue right in here. Those three right there, right there, and then right there. Not that part, the blue, blue sky, but those, three right there. This, that's what these three are for blinging that part. Uh, so that's what these three are for. And then the yellow is only a couple spots in the, in the canvas, but then it's good to have that color on hand. The 722, the orange is kind of spread within the accents around this little guy. And same thing with the 351 is kind of the accents on here. And then I'm thinking about like mixing up and adding, uh, like making him rather than being a solid red body, maybe throwing some of this uh, color. I'll have to compare it to the actual red drills that come in the canvas and see maybe doing like a mixing this drill with the red drill and just shaking my um, drill tray up and seeing how it looks. I may do like, I will compare the two colors and if they look similar enough, I may do that. But I may also still try to find a red AB that matches this color and then kind of just shake and just do like a random shake it up and do place those two drills together randomly for the red of the body. So it's not just one solid color because otherwise that entire body is just one color. So that's my plan for that one. I'm gonna really bling that little guy up. So that was my DP with Sparklers haul. I, as you can see, I kind of went crazy uh, with my um, shopping there. Uh, those are all rounds. Like I said, that entire haul was rounds. Most of these were squares with a couple rounds that I got. Uh, these two little ones were rounds and then the rest were squares specifically because I knew I had bought a ton of rounds 
with DP with sparklers. And then we come over here to Lady Lathe Customs by Design, uh, which the owner, Stacy Travis. So this will be my first order with her. So let's see what I got. Uh, and for her, if you wanna order anything with her, you have to go to her Facebook page and go through the process there. So let's see what we got. All right, ooh, I like this little bag. Oh, that is cool. So you have a penny with a uh, cross cut out of the penny. That is neat. I'm really puzzle. Oh, it's a puzzle. Nice. That's cool. So, it's a penny punched out. Ooh. This is actually like a really, like I love green tea. I'm gonna try not to bump the table. I keep smashing into it and shaking the camera. So orange passion fruit jasmine green tea is a really good flavor. I'm a teaaholic. I love my teas. I wonder if she plans that in specific. Oh, look at that. That is adorable. Cause my initials are EM. So here is an E and an M. Oh, that is super, super cool. I love that. You know, look at them, they're beautiful. And those purples are gorgeous and will go fantastic with, oh my goodness, those are, I love, that is beautiful. That's super fantastic. And here is her card, Lady Lathe Customs by Design, handcrafted writing pens, kitchenware, coffee scoops, keychains, craft items, and more. Oh, look at that. That was super cute. I like that. That is, I like that she personalized it like that because there's my initials and those purples are beautiful. And now let's see the pen. Ba -ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum. I'm trying to remember what pen it was. There's the thank you. Ooh, it looks like it's a shorter pen, which is my preferred length bad at opening things. You guys see, this is why I open things off camera so you guys don't get, I, tr I think I tried one small shop hole, I opened things on camera and I'm like, that's just too, that's too much. I will open things off camera for now on. Otherwise it's like the struggle. It's just too much of a struggle. I struggle way too much. I'm the person at Christmas that just like rips into all of my presents. I don't try to save it. Like <laughs> my, my dad will sit there with a pocket knife and like slice the, he will sit there and like slice down the line of the tape perfectly. Oh, that's right. Look at that. Oh my goodness. She's gorgeous. I love that combination of the wood and the resin. And look at the layers. Look at how that like layers in there. Oh my word. Oh, and I love the balance. It's a perfect size. Beautimous. Love, love, love that. That is gorgeous. And the shine. Whoosh, so shiny. And it's green. My favorite color is green, uh, considering the fact that my car is not quite that color green, but almost that color green. Uh, yes, so that's uh, Lady Lathe Customs by Design. And then the last one of these is my haul from Painting with Pities. So this is from Brie. Oop. Again, this is me being challenged. Like, I'm so awkward at opening things. Such a such a struggle. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna open it over here because it's got my packing label. And she wraps it with the little paw. I love all of her paw packaging. So here we go. So here is her little baggie. Boom boom boom. And if everybody wasn't aware, oh, look at that. 
the rainbow uh, themed emery board. Here is her card right there. <laughs> Look at that sticker or the little sticker. Is that cute? Look at that little guy. Super cute. And if you weren't aware, she's got her Diamonds and Diversity diamond painting event with Lexi uh, Sparkles and Brie at Painting with uh, Pity. So Lexi and Brie. And that's going to be for the month of June. Uh, so if you have not already planned to do that, make sure that you do and you can sign up for uh, that and do their um, their Google, um, Google Doc to sign up for it on the Facebook page, Diamonds and Diversity 2023. So if you have not already done so, I'm trying to decide. I have two different kits and I'm trying to debate. I'll have to pull them out and look at them to debate which of the two kits I plan on actually doing for the event. Cause I'm like torn. I have two I wanna do and I'm like, ah, I can only do one. Cause I'm also doing Summer with the Masters. So I have to decide between which of the two kits I wanna do, but they're both gorgeous kits. So here are what I got. I got just peachy blueberry mojito oh, I'm excited for that one and then I got the um, bakery bundle so banana nut bread blueberry muffins carrot cake and hot fudge brownies and pumpkin roll cake so those were the five five flavors there and like I just got them bundled together and then boom so for sake of time, I'm not gonna open every single one up and smell them all, but I always struggle with it. I usually, once I have these opened and I'm gonna work on a painting, I leave it open for a while. But boom, 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 boom. Look at the cuteness of that, so cute. And look at the little sparkles. I'm gonna put that down so it doesn't get in the way. Look at that, super adorable. I love the paw print. Oh. And it smells absolutely incredible. Super delicious smell. I will go through and smell all of them, uh, but not on the video because it's such a challenge for me to open things. As you've seen, I struggle with it. My, my, the struggle is real for me, but I'm excited to smell them all. I'll sit here and like gush over the smell of them all. But here's the bakery bundle. And the deliciousness of the, I love fruity smells. Especially blueberry mojito is gonna be a deliciousness. So these are these ones so far. And before I pull the next one out, I've gotta show you the humorousness of box cat. There's my box cat. I mean, how adorable is box cat? Like this is what she does. She's like, she's, she's a tiny cat. I mean, she weighs 6.7 pounds. But there's Mochi, that's my box cat. She's helps me. She's just looked at me like, really mom? You just disturbed me, but she hasn't moved. She just opened an eyeball. That's all she did, she opened an eyeball. All right, now for our last one. Les Creations Desclo, or Desclo, or Des Desclo. So this is a Canadian-based company, French-Canadian, hence the uh, French name, in case you were wondering. I got a couple paintings from them, which is, I think, why it took so long because of the uh, order. So I will show those. There's still more in there. Is there still more in there? Is that all that's in my box? That's the end of my box. Okay. Now Mochi's like, what are you doing? So I decided to try, I think I ordered from them before I had discovered Bella or uh, Dana Cole's trays, which is what I've been using like exclusively. But I figured I would give them a try as well because I like small trays. And these are like an adorable set of small, trays that I can hold in my hand um, because I I like to hold them in my hand and look at that that's like uh, they're very similar size wise to what I use with the um, Bella Art Nichols small uh, 3.2 or 3.1 whatever number they're on I don't pay attention 
I just used the trays. But, and they've still got the little spout. And they herd them in. Oh, they're a little bit shallower, so we'll see how that works. But I can kind of shake and then pour. But work with them there. So these are the colors that I picked. One, two, three, four, five. Because you can customize and pick in this very sturdy um, tray holder. It's a very sturdy tray holder, and I like these colors. So they're smaller ones, so this would work well for like those really confetti heavy areas. This will be good for those like small where you just need a few drills. Because there's some of them where even with my um, my this tray, sometimes I feel like this is too much and I don't need something quite like that. So you can see it's almost, it's basically the same size uh, for the most part. It's just a little bit shorter side and it doesn't have the lid, but it's got the little tray tower, which is what I liked is it had this little tray tower and I could kind of stack them up. And if I'm in a confetti ridge area, I've now got five little um, towers or five little drill trays to go right there. And then what else did I get from them? Again, it's been so long since I ordered. Let's see, so here is their thank you. And here is all of their um, pages uh, on Insta, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. I don't do TikTok. It's enough to do everything else. You don't, I, I don't feel like I need to get on TikTok as well. Uh, so they do hand turned pens, canvases, 3D accessories for diamond painting. And so this is their notice of do not put this near around children. I think they have to do that. Oh, I did do a pen as well. I was trying to remember, because again, it, ooh, that is pretty. Look at that. Ooh, it's an interesting shape too. So pinks, I've been in, in like a pink mood lately, so I've got a lot of, uh, a fair number of like pink pens. My pens are either pink or like greens. So pink pen. And then the other things in here are, oh yes, and I got one of these little, uh, covers for um, your um, light thing, light box. Sorry, words, hard today. So you, where you can tack it right on your light box, which is funny because uh, then I upgraded to a larger light box and they just give you their branded um, regular ink pen as the freebie. And that's what was in there. All right, so now let me go ahead and show you the two paintings that I got from them. Hefty. All right, so this is a square drill canvas and then we will be done. So one of the struggles that I have is finding as I try to do this and talk at the same time, which doesn't work very well sometimes. So one of my challenges has been finding uh, licensed artwork that meets like my, okay. So there, this has 50 colors and it gives you how many bags of each, oh, I like that. It gives you how many bags you have of each color. Okay, so it'll be like, oh, here, this is what you, have, so you've got 53 bags each total. Okay, uh, so one, I'm not gonna go into depth on the canvas uh, and the details of it because uh, I'm not gonna take that time because this has been a relatively long unboxing. So here's your basic toolkit, which is fine with me. The colors and look at those gorgeous colors. And these are resin, square resin drills. You can see here are the ABs because there are three ABs and they're right here at the end, boom, boom, boom. Look at those colors. Like I said, I like my pinks and purples. But like I said, one of my challenges has been finding uh, canvases that fit like some of the things that I like. And one of the things that I really like are 
mandalas so this goes this way but I'm going to show it to you sideways so it fits in here and you can actually see it I love mandalas but getting mandalas from like a licensed diamond painting company uh, I haven't really been able to find many um, so when I saw this I snagged it up because I've got a, quite a few mandalas uh, I've probably got about maybe like 10 mandalas in varying designs from like Amazon or Timu kits but I don't have any from a licensed diamond painting company uh, so that's what I wanted to get one from a uh, reputable company and that's what they are so they are one that does do licensed artwork this one doesn't necessarily have a specific artist on it um, but um, this is a mandala. So I saw this one, had to get this kit specifically because it was mandala. So it looks like they do not do the, um, uh, I'm gonna take the kit out. I don't like to keep the kits in for some of these paintings that I have to wrap up. They don't do the sticker sheet, so you have to do your own sticker sheet which is fine with me, you'll have to kit it up yourself. And then the other one that I got, I will show you. Um, and that one size wise, I don't know if it said on there what the size was. I don't know if I'm gonna unwrap it all the way and tell you guys if it shows it on the sticker sheet. 40 by 55, there you go. So this one was squares, 40 by 55. And then I got a 50 by 50 rounds. So I wanted to try one of each of theirs so I could see how their kits were for a square and a round. So that one was squares, so I went with smaller on the squares just because uh, I think my my square kit that I, my first square kit from Diamond Art Club was so much confetti, I think it kind of scarred me a little bit. So I need to do another square and that maybe won't won't terrify me quite so much. Granted, these are confetti heavy kits just by the nature of what they are. Uh, that's just, you know, what they are. So again, basic toolkit. Here are the drills for this one. Uh, here's your ABs right there and beautiful colors. This one, like I said, is a round and it has 43 colors, 50 by 50. And this one is a Hamsa hand mandala. And you can see here, I will show you from there. Again, this one's gonna have a lot of confetti as well. Just the nature of the style of artwork, uh, any kind of mandalas and hamsas tend to have it. But I like how it wasn't just like, here's the hamsa hand and then like a plain background, which is what like the one that I've seen on Diamond Art Club has. And so there you have this one that I got. And this one is, uh, you can see here's the artist. So on the other one, it says art for less creations day clo, but it doesn't have the artist on it. Uh, so it may have been like a stock image. Whereas this one, you've got the artist's name on it uh, right here. So that was why I went with this one because I hadn't found any like American companies that do like this style. Let me lower it down so you can see it a little bit better. Try to get that glare off. Uh, because again, I love like mandalas and like the Hamsa hands, Buddha paintings, things like that, which uh, you'll see more of the paintings that I do gradually um, as I try to find them are paintings like this that have that kind of look to them. Um, that's part of one of the things that I enjoy with like my style uh, of art, but it's very hard to find find artwork like that with um, a lot of like the mainstream companies um, a lot of the mainstream companies in the United States I haven't been able to find them having a lot of this style of art because it's not a popular art style in the US uh, so that's been one of my struggles with finding licensed kits that meet my uh, like hey this is what I like it's been a challenge but I was excited to find these two pieces uh, on Les Creations de Clos, uh, or Les, Les Creations de Clos. 
because you don't really say the less, you say the le. But like I said, French is not my thing. Um, so these were the shops that I, I, this, like I said, this is quite the haul. Mostly it's the sparklers make it look like a lot more than what it actually is. Um, and these things have been sitting on in my, like, I think these three packages have been sitting on my desk for like a week and a half waiting to be opened. Uh, and then these two came today. So I was like, okay, I need to open these. So this was from Shimmering Canvases, the two pens in my drills over here. Um, of course, you've got all of the special drills from uh, Team On, DP with Sparklers, and then you've got this incredibly gorgeous pen, and I love that, I love my, my initials right there from uh, Stacy Travis over at Lady Lathe Customs by Design these putties that I'm super excited and stoked to try. I think I'm going to use those tonight as I uh, work on this uh, second square painting that I've ever done is what I'm working on right now. Uh, and I just kitted it up last night. Uh, so these uh, amazing putties by um, Painting with Pities by Brie. And then these two kits and these two diamond paintings and this beautiful pen and these lovely adorable little trays which are going to be perfect for all the confetti in here and i actually got to pick what color trays and everything that i wanted which that's bothering me that that one's there so i'm gonna rearrange that um so these adorable trays with their own little uh tray holder and um the little thing to cover up your like with, so if I'm working on a small painting I'll, on my small easel with my small light pad, then I can actually put this on my small light pad and then I'm not like constantly turning the light off, which is so annoying, but I keep doing that. So this is my small shop haul for this week. And I, I don't know that I have a ton of stuff coming uh, for a while. This was a big one um, because again, I ordered these quite a, the, these ones quite a while ago. But if you guys want to go ahead and uh, give me a thumbs up over there, like, uh, and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe uh, and uh, click the no notification bell so that way you can be notified of any of my new videos as I put them out. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Yes, my cat is still sleeping in her box. She did, did reposition. So I will give you one last farewell glimpse of the cat, which I have just disturbed. And now she's giving me cat glares because I disturbed her. So you get a little cat face. She's like, nope, must not look. But yes, there's my cat in a box. And that's Elisa and Mochi out for the day. All right.